Hello guys, welcome to the latest episode of Trains and Journeys and welcome to Oakhampton where today we're going to be driving from Oakhampton to Exeter St David's aboard this thing, a Pacer. Not actually that bad. 143, it's not too bad to be fair. Um, I'm going to open the doors. Only one of the doors open really weirdly. Oh no, did the other end open? No. Okay, never mind. Anyway, um, joining me in the... Oh god, what's happening here? There we go. Joining me in the video today uh, is... This is going to be really annoying for me to pronounce the chat. Why have I got that on? Hang on. Oh really, I hate that noise. Right, hang on. Minimal. There we go. Okay, anyway, so joining me in the video today is a channel which uh, used to be called Kaya's Train Videos, but now is called, what is it called? European Vine Source Clag or something. Oh, okay. Anyway, it's Kaya. You guys will remember Kaya from uh, oh, a few videos of mine. Hello, Kaya. Hi. <laughs> okay. Kaya's a little bit dead, as usual, aren't you? No. I messed up the other end of the pacer. Oh well. 3-3. Three, three. Okay, I'll put something really good on the end. Anyway, um, Kaya's going to apparently attempt in German how to say... Oh, actually. You're not going to do it now, no? No. Too scared? Too sc you forgot? Julian hasn't taught me it yet. Oh, fair enough. Um, right. Well, I'll let Kaya, because everyone does it, uh, tell you what calling points we're calling out today. Uh, the quote, Stamford, Putney, Edgerton and Exeter St David's we are calling out. Indeed. And Stamford Courtney is just tiny. That's absolutely nothing. During this video Kaya's got, really. got a little story to tell. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Don't start swearing on it, but yeah, no. Um, yeah, we've got a little story about Oakhampton to do with Kaya. This pace is making really, really horrible noises. I can't even get the headlights on. Oh, hang on a minute. Yes, I can. There we go. That's a bit bright, isn't it? Oh, okay, it's either one or the other. Okay, I'll just do that. Whatever. Anyway, we've actually been on this line. I think it was, what, what was it? Was it me, you, and and Kian at one point? Wasn't it? We went, we went here, didn't we? Probably. Can you not remember? Don't know. Fair enough. Right. Uh, I have a feeling this is just going to be a video where Kaya says nothing. Oh. Yeah, it, there's, there's nothing here. It's literally just... It isn't a great station. It's just steam railway, pretty much. How the only train to even stop here anyway? It's like literally only on summer Sundays. I don't even I don't even think they're doing it this year. Oh. <laughs> oh. Kai, you sounded really, really sad about that. What sad news, eh? Uh You're heartbroken. Not necessarily. Bet you are. Bet you gutted no. you can't go to Oakhampton. Not really. Not really. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Um, so the unit we're driving today is 143618. 
uh, in FGW livery. Kaya can't see anything because I've decided to pre-record this now. So Kaya won't see anything. It will just be a guest. Not that Kaya would look anyway. Oh, yeah. Exactly. I have to go and check something. It's uh, food. Yeah, go on. Right, now departing at Campton. Okay, so we have now departed Oakhampton, a little bit uh, preempted, well not preempted, a little bit glitchy, uh, only because um, there was a bit of a problem with uh, the pacer actually moving. Now, I turned everything off and I did everything right, I promise you, I did enough practice and I didn't press backspace, literally the pacer just took ages to move, so yeah. I think it might just be me for this video anyway because Kaya literally just came along because he wanted to be on the video for a short time. He might come back though. Oh, there he is. Hello. Hi, okay. I thought you'd gone. Let's get my food. Ah, oh, fair enough. Right. So just departed Oakhampton and on our way to Exeter Neighbours. First stop is Santa Courtney. Which is a station with absolutely right, nothing there. What, Sanford Courtenay? Hmm? Sanford... You like Sanford Courtenay? Yeah. Just when the bad thing happened, I was contemplating if I should get out there or not. Oh. But you didn't. You carried on to Oakhampton because why not? No, and this was on the way back. I think it would have been a really stupid idea. Well, yeah, because you would have hardly got a service going back, so... Would have forked back. And how long would that would have taken? That would have taken ages. Probably. Passing through a couple of stations on the way to uh, Sanford Courtney, though. Got one here, which is a completely deserted station. I'm not even too sure where that is. But whilst we're on the way, let's uh, let's entertain viewers with the story of Kaya and Outcampton. Oh no. Yes. Um, so basically, as Kaya would normally say, um, what, what happened, uh, well I don't know the ins and outs, but Kaya will know. Um, all I know is that it was to do with your phone, and because we were meant to meet up with you one time, weren't we? Yeah. And I don't know actually know what happened, so what actually happened? So you got on the train, didn't you? And what, what actually happened from there? I was quantum, I was thinking, well, where should I get off? Should I charge my phone there? And maybe go back on there. What? Weren't you on a train with plug sockets there or not? No. Oh, was it one fifty without them? Two oh seven. Oh, that. Yeah, no, that's a bad one. I had Ribena though. You had Ribena. That's a good yeah. drink. Good drink. Doesn't be Capri Sun though, does it? Debatable. I don't think that's a debate that needs to be uh, heated about. Mm hmm. Yeah, no, fair enough. Oh, 
on the train. And I was just stuck. With old men. <laughs> <laughs> That's always positive. No, um... The context of it was, though, that... Kaya was, um... On the 150. We were meant to meet him. Uh, we had just come back from the HST rail tour, I believe. Um, which was the Flying Banana one. And we met a few... Uh, a few people at... Um, Plymouth. Uh, I stayed at my dad's. And our friend Johnny, who's Johnny Dot Baronet, he's in the YouTube, he's probably watching this right now, uh, came and got me. And we went to... Uh, meet up with a couple other people including um, including Sean Domino 566 and we had to wait for ages for them to be ready uh, they eventually got ready to the point where we then got to uh, Eric Exus and David's where we were meant to meet Kaya and Kaya had already gone and we were trying to get a hold of him we couldn't yeah me. actually that funny I was really bored yeah I bet right now approaching uh, Sanford Court now first station I think Kaya's contemplating getting off. Are you going to film a train zap there? <laughs> no. The original. The original. Today you'll be seeing. So today you'll be seeing Dartmoor Railway. Uh, you won't even be see. You won't even be seeing that. Actually, you might. You might see Dartmoor Railway, unlikely. The doors on these are terrible, I'm all admit, honestly. The Dovetail Games Pacer is the worst thing I've ever seen, well, one of the worst things I've ever seen. The this is the original make, because it's the FGW livery, and it's it's not great, I would admit. Fair enough. Have you had much experience with trained sim, Kaya? A bit. What would you say is, uh, uh, how many how many routes and stuff have you got or would you say you've got not much or a fair bit I've got a few fair enough hang on one sec you what it's me be bored a bit yeah I suppose you can be bored of it, but to be fair, with lockdown at the moment, it's kind of to the point where um, it kind of just keeps you entertained, like, because there's not a lot to keep you entertained right now. Okay. But, you know, would you say there's a, a pack or a train that you say is really, really bad on the game? Because I'd say this one is not that great. You don't like the class 50? Oh, the 150. Do you mean a dash one? Yeah, that's terrible. Yeah, Most that's... Of them aren't that good. Not unless they're upgraded by Armstrong Powerhouse, so... Good detail. Yeah, there's good detail on them. There are some that are even more detailed than Armstrong Powerhouse. Fair enough, yeah, no, there, there's some that are just awful. I don't think they've done a bad job with the pacer, but when, when like, all the liveries came out, including our friend Albie, who made the GWR143, how very notable is that one, Kaya? Um, I think we know how notable that one is. Um, well, yeah, apparently, well. Uh, should we just say... It... it it didn't break my computer, but it's been known to break computers and ruin one for freeze forever. I didn't know that. Oh, you don't get the joke. Oh, damn it. Never mind. I, I, I honestly would have thought Albie would have told you, but never mind. We didn't. You're going to have to ask Albie what it was then. Um... Actually, no, I'll, I'll tell you. So, I won't name names because that's not fair, but... 
effectively what happened was uh, there was a big incident a little while ago where Alby had a message from someone who got angry because they downloaded his reskin of the 143 GWR and uh, basically blamed him for it and said you broke my 143s and it turned into a massive pointless argument that has now been sorted but yeah it's pretty stupid I know it was it's a bit ridiculous and Albie was just there with his wits as always just responding back as he always would But there was a, it was a bit of a story, a bit of a saga that went on for ages, to be honest. And, uh, yeah. I'm sure if you ask Albie for the screenshots, he'll show them to you. They were. He's shown me. They were <laughs> I think they've been posted around everywhere, to be fair, so. I don't think anyone has not seen them, except for you, obviously. But yeah, no, it's, uh, it was a bit of a saga with that one. Anyway, in about 11 miles, the next station will be Crediton. We're currently still on the uh, Oakhampton branch, heading over to uh, Exus and David's. I was literally about to say Oakhampton, then that was wrong. That wouldn't have been clever. It wasn't Stamford, it was Crediton that was getting out uh what was that? The. Wanting to go to Tesco. Oh, right. What, well, Crediton? Do they even have a Tesco? Yes, there's a big one outside it. Oh, okay. I never spotted it. You know, there was a big one at Barnstable, unless that was somewhere else. That's a big Tesco outside there. Yeah. I remember that one. Interesting fact as well, uh, you might not remember it, Kaya, but there was a... Uh, at Campton there was a cat called Percy. I'm not too sure, Percy, um, when we went there, Percy was just like sat on the side, and I think me, you and Kian were just there stroking Percy. I don't know if you remember, because it was, it was, a, it was... Remember. You do, see, you remember the trip then, at least, a little bit. I remember the whole trip. You said you didn't remember it at the beginning of the video. Yeah. You suffered from temporary amnesia. You what? About nine miles away from Crediton at the moment. It's, it is a fair way to go. I didn't realise this line was so long. It's ridiculous. You must have got bored as hell when you were on your own on this route. It isn't the most fantastic route in the world. I mean, it's mostly single track and the service here is a bit really, really bad, so... There have been calls to open up this line again, but they've never really come to fruition. It's always just been rumours of reopening the Dartmoor line, but there's never really been much on it besides Oakhampton. Every time I've used the train, it's always been fairly quiet. Fairly boring. I'm boring, yeah. I'll admit, it is probably my least favourite line, just because there's really nothing on it. No scenery, no... No real enjoy, no real enjoyment out of the whole thing. Oh. Right, here's a tough question for you, Kaya, since, since you hate it so much. What's your favourite line in Devon? Uh, uh, question. 
if you were to pick one, even if you didn't like the whole of the UK, which one would you pick? <laughs> Yeah, that bit, um, Exton's quite nice, isn't it? Because it goes along a big river. Yeah, it does. I'll just explain what happened at the beginning of this video. When you went away, Kai, uh, I tried leaving Oakhampton. The pacer took about uh, took about two minutes to actually start moving because I had it in 100%. I had it in full throttle on this on the pacer on this, and it took about two minutes to actually move. And then it actually moved. At least this time it wasn't my fault that the train didn't work. Uh, just the next step, What's that? Just the next step, I didn't even hear you then, you lagged out. What is the next episode? Oh! Birmingham Moor Street to London Marylebone. Oh yeah. The one that failed last time and it's going to be a success this time, I promise. 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 This is probably one of the easier trains to drive in train sim because it's it's not that complicated to maneuver around it's just i i happen to hate dovetail games version of it easy because there's no effort exactly it's not like 68 effort where it requires like every single key on your keyboard not particularly if you, well, you look at if you look at less developers they'll have the every single lever and every single button in the train enabled yeah yeah i know i know we should try and drive one of those well could do this branch line drags and drags and drags honestly it, it, it's like did you bang your head against the wall at any point during this journey uh, i think i just lied down yeah, I think this route will probably want to do that to you. The thing is, is the Tarka line itself, you know, if I was to say well, my favourite line, I think I already said it to Drew in a video before when I actually did Exit to Barnstable. Um, I actually said that my favourite part of the line is probably, again, what you said, probably um, the bit to Exmouth, like near Exton. That's a really nice bit of the route. Yeah. But I have two bits on in Devon that I really don't like. So one of the so one of the bits is um, one of the bits I didn't like was the Tarka line because I don't think it's that that great, and the other one is um, the I'm sorry, Albie, but you probably will agree with me. West of England main line. It's terrible. Yeah, it is. No scenery on it once again. A bit like this, really.
I've nearly done a full run on it, and it was fucking awful. Yeah. It's all right. I know what you mean. You're just you're just being yourself and the, and being angry at the West of England main line. I would too. Don't worry. I'm angry at it. It's caused me. It's caused me nothing but problems. No wonder it's a cheaper option of getting to London. I didn't really have them in proper games. Oh, I have. Believe me. Like what? Being cancelled at Salisbury. Oh, we're joining the Tarka line now. Yeah, being cancelled at Salisbury, I didn't like that. I think I nearly missed my train at Salisbury. Yeah, connection issues are a big are a big problem at Salisbury. There, there's like there's like so many things that that cause problems when you're there. Right, we're about four miles outside of Crediton now. Our next station. Your, real indeed, your nightmare's nearly over again, Kaya. You can, you can, even though you're not really reliving it because you can't see anything. You're, you don't have to talk to, you don't have to talk to me about the probably what you would call the worst line in Devon. This is about the time in the story where I think my phone gained a bit of charge randomly for some reason. It just gained it. What sort of phone did you have at the time? Uh, same phones I have now. What is it? It's just an iPhone. That was an iPhone. I think it gains like 12% or something. Fair enough. Right, here's Yo. We're just passing alongside Yoford now as well. Have you filmed trains out from these places? Absolutely not. I've done a journey video the whole way. We're going to be cruising for a little bit, but we're nearly at um, Crediton anyway, so... I was not long to Lexington. How have you done it so quick? don't know, it's just the line, just when you're talking to someone, I suppose it gets less, like, the time goes really quick. Haven't you ever found that, like, when you're on a train with people, you know, you talk to them and the journey just flies by? I've had I'm that. Love. That happens a lot to me. doing any more tier lists uh yes the next one i'm doing is about uh the tocs in the uk of course not europe sorry sorry kaya fair enough uh because but i think here there's a lot more divided opinion yes well the emu one actually was fairly agreeable at the end because alby was on it and he he presented some good good arguments for a lot of it Albie's going to be on pretty much uh, the tier list series because I, I appreciate his views are very well informed and, they're and they have very good sort of they're well judged if that makes sense well justified that's the word I mean well they've got they've got very justified views very well justified views so his uh, his, his his views and his contribution to that is always very very good so
some of the opinions I agreed on, like my five minute 376 journey that I took. What were there any bits of the tier list you didn't agree on? Uh, the 376. Where did we put it again? I think we put it in uh, in good, didn't we? You didn't like it. I don't know. I didn't like it. Rip. Right, so we're shortly arriving into Crediton. About a mile and a half outside now. Right. Oh, there's lag. What's happened here then? Give me a minute. Oh dear. I'd probably put three seven six in like poor. Yeah. Game's frozen on me. Oh no. Oh, it's alright, it's working again. Really sorry about that. That was a massive load up of assets. That was that lag was crazy. It's working again now, that's good. Oh. Sorry about that. I think I might go on Duolingo. How fun. I said that very facetiously, I'm very sorry. Do I do German oh, God. Or oh, oh, horrible level crossing noise there. That was a really horrible noise. It just starts screaming in my ear then. Ouch. Right. It's not that bad. Oh no, no, it's just a uh, level crossing noise. Just going to slowly make our way in because, you know, might as well because we're very early, we might as well cruise our way in. And also because the reverse is off and it won't go back on for now. Not until I stop. Oh, we're going up fast anyway, that's okay. I think we're going to have a few minutes in uh, Crediton. Approaching now, Crediton. That's our next station. And now off the horrible bit of track that's really, really boring and made you go to sleep. Oh, for sake. I think at this point in the journey I was getting a bit happy because I realised 
Misery was nearly over. Yeah. There's still more to come. Sounds like a really dramatic horror movie. Not too dramatic, just really, 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 really boring. Oh, I see what's happened. Hang on. Give me one moment. I've forgotten how you do it. What's the idea? Oh, that was it, yeah. For some reason the engine just turned its... Oh! There we go. Press control and... Done it. Said. Ha ha, you're funny. There we go. I realised what happened, I realised the engine was off straight away and I worked to fix it and it worked. What did you do? I pressed backspace, that's what I did. No, I didn't. Doors on these things are really glitchy because only ever one of them opens and the other one doesn't. Sure, it's not the platform size. No, I'm completely in the platform. It's a good job we were early into credits, and else, yeah, we would have. Uh, this is maybe a different story. <laughs> You arrived early. Yes. How early? A minute. It was going to be three minutes, but then I had to wait at the token thing. Because part of the scenario is he stopped there. Oh. Yes. Oh. Right, so this is part of the journey where I'm going to allow someone on YouTube to recommend the next, sorry, episode 38 of Train Some Journeys, because episode 37 is more Street to Malibu. So please throw your recommendations in the comments now. And whichever one you guys pick will be the first one I see, sorry, will be the one I do. So there you go. And who knows it? If someone picks it, then yeah. Right, this is fantastic. I think we're just about there. Just waiting to... yeah. Just about where? Ready to go. In terms of like, the time we were waiting, I think we're just about there. The time to elapse. We're just about to arrive in it. Right, we're now departed Crediton.
Just call that a glitch on the back of it. Just say it. I just say it broke. Gotcha. You'll see what I mean when you actually look at the. If you ever look at the video, Kaya. So. Okay. Okay. Next and final stop in about six miles. Kaya will be very happy. Is Exodus and David's platform two? We're going on. Well, it is used a lot more now. I didn't know that. Cross country use it when they terminate, and so did GWR, I think, when there's like a service of Barnstable or something. Like the starting at Exeter, Exeter, even. I think they use it mostly for. Sh I think they use it mostly just to stable stuff there, don't they? To shunt stuff in and just leave it there. Oh my god, I'm getting so famous. Yes, you are, Kaya. <laughs> Sorry about the Facebook pings in the background, by the way. It's uh, just, I forgot to switch it off, so. Five miles to go. Five miles. Yeah, well, that's not actually long in the, in the face of it. It's not very long. Now passing Newton St. Sires, you have a station in between Crediton and Exeter St. David's. Got off there once. Did you? What for? Your friend. You have a friend who lives in Newton St. Sires? Yes. Nice. I haven't seen him for like eight years. Oh my god, I think I know who it was. Kaya, Kaya, check your messages. I don't think you do know who it was. I'll ask. Let me let me message you, see if I'm right. It was a farmer, wasn't it, Kaya? Yeah. I knew it. Two point six zero miles, not long now. Oh my god, it's taken two minutes to do two miles. I know, I know, it's gone it's because of the speed we're going as well, to be fair, so
Oh, to be fair, on a section of it though, we have to go 20 mile per hour because I think we've got to cross over onto um, Cowley Bridge Junction. So I think we've got to slow down for that. I think I went in the pub there once. Oh, oh the one outside Cowley Bridge. Yeah, I know which one you're on about. You've been everywhere. I could say you've like, I don't know, been to Chapelton. You'd probably say you've been there. That's sad. Your streak of saying you've been to places is now over. Right, now crossing over Cowley Bridge Junction, there's the pub that Kaya went to, and I haven't. It's a B&B &B, it looks like as well. Yes. Hey, and we froze again, hang on. There we go. Not as long that time. Right, shortly going to be arriving into Exodus and David's, our final station for this video. You can just imagine Kaya's very, very happy about that, because it means he doesn't have to talk anymore. Huh? Exhilarated. Absolutely exhilarated. Because it means you don't have to talk. True. Absolutely. Yes, well, the misery. Can we just call, like, can you call the Tarka Line misery, but then call the Oakhampton section, like, major misery? Like, seriously bad misery? Uh, Oakhampton, serious misery, but Barnstable's, I think it's a bit longer. But, but the plus side is, it's okay. rivers, and I really like rivers. By the way, if you guys want to know what we mean by misery, it's an inside reference that a lot of us make. Basically, saying something is boring or bad. In other words, most people I know just refer to the UK as that. Albie, JB, Kaya, Keir, Ryan, probably all watching this. <laughs> you will do it. See, fair, there are some routes on it that are actually pretty bad. West of England Main Line being one of them. Um, oh, that's too boring. What other routes would you would you class as like being really bad and really boring? Welsh ones. The valleys, I don't like them. Oh yeah, fair enough. I don't know what one it was. Um, I'm trying to find it. I'm just spat there for no reason, but there we go. There we go, we're moving again. I know one I'd say I don't like that much, is probably the section is... Uh, Brighton to Southampton, West Coast way. Oh yeah. I, I don't oh, I don't like that. No. I completely forgot about it. But yeah, everything down there is just awful. I can't bear it. Yeah, no, it is pretty bad. It is, it stops everywhere as well. Once you get up towards maybe Ashford or something, maybe you're a bit okay. Yeah. Well, I reckon London to London to Southampton is no better because that splits at Barnum. And that takes forever to do it. I'm trying to find what this terrible Welsh journey was. Oh, not um, Heart of Wales. No, Heart of Wales was, is a nice journey. Um, Right, so we've made it into Exeter St. David's and all doors open this time. So... It was Treherbert. Don't like it. Treherbert, oh, fair enough. Welsh Valleys, fair enough. Um, yeah, so we've made it to Exeter St. David's. So thanks for watching this video from Oakhampton to Exeter St. David's. As you can see the 
stations a little bit more updated on the railways of Devon and Cornwall route because uh, you've got uh, the big building here which is in production which is going to be GWR's newest uh, depot that's in, still in production I believe still in creation for when the IETs get sort of stored there so didn't know that yeah no I think that's what's happening my god KTB videos number one contributor to the route Oh god, yeah, I remember. I'm on the readme, aren't I? I remembered that. Yeah. Yes. It's because some, some of my videos helped out. Bad luck, you did not complete the scenario successfully. Okay, nice. Um, yeah, so... I think you've got to do it again. Oh, no. Do you really want to do it again, do you? you no, got to be I, I, Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Keep your mouth shut. Exactly. Um, right, no. Um, yeah, so... The next episode of Trains and Journeys is between Birmingham, Moore Street, and London, Marylebone. The next video, yes, yeah, this one will go right, I promise. And um, the next uh, video of mine is Trains some Spotting at Liverpool South Park, but that's out tomorrow. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching this video from Oakhampton to Exodus and David's. From me and Kaya, it's uh, goodbye for now.